Yeah, that's so why I saw that. Mm -hmm. I like Frogadier for the matchup. I could see that being very well. Mm -hmm. um, or you could even go something maybe like a Fennekin or uh, Umbreon to kind of reset those 50-50 situations. Mm -hmm, exactly. But, Are there any unblockable sides with Bug Bite with that? With Umbreon or Fennekin? Uh, or, 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 sorry, Frogadier. Frogadier. Not sure, to be honest with you. I hope <laughs> maybe TEC will show us. Ooh, I, I hope. I, I live for unblockables because I'm... I'm a horrible person. Right. Anyway, <laughs> Round number one here, Eye of the Storm, setting up the staples and immediately going into the swords dance. Mm -hmm. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. Just wait it out. Oh, oh okay. And here's what I was saying. Horror House has no fear. He'll just do it if he mm -hmm. sees you come at him. There you go. Hover, nice hover cancel here. This oh. is going to be a full confirm. Optimal punish right here off of this. Ooh, getting some corner carry. Okay. Oh, actually, capping out for damage and then going and electing for the wall damage there. He ended with the U-turn so that he could get that plus 30 from the wall bounce. Mm -hmm, exactly. All right. So now he's able to set up. He's keeping his swords going. <laughs> Just immediately cross-chopping again. Oh, no, and is getting a huge wall combo right here. Oh, a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. Uh, yikes. Right, so you see, kind of now, we have to be a little bit careful. Eevee boost, though. Gonna actually, help. electing for Eevee. This. I guess I didn't notice at the beginning of the round. I just assumed mm -hmm. Frogadier. Yeah, okay. So... Ooh, okay, Harlow's keeping his spacing all right. Ooh, Ooh okay. nice, okay. He's not getting a ton of damage off it, but it is Eevee boosted Ooh, if he's charging. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's canceling, okay. He's, he's mixing up, and Harlow's not having any of it. Yeah, Harlow's will just go in, and then I think TC's trying to right. finally catching on. We'll see if he actually bursts. Harlow's will burst here. He should. Oh, doesn't respect it, and oh, oh my god, yep. Oh, oh. And there's the thing, like, where you're talking about Harlow doesn't do well with the long-term game. He doesn't yeah. think anyone's going to contest a big old Machamp coming at him, but... Right. Yeah, so I would have liked to see him uh, spend the burst there, but mm -hmm. that's all right. Har has a really bad habit of not using his burst. Right. Like, even like for an entire matches, he doesn't do it. Mm -hmm. Like, why? Um, but anyway, TC, does that speed debuff really hurt his aura a whole lot? Because a lot of his uh, moves no. with dashes. Yes, yeah, so when he is in hover stance, or hover, hover cancel, whatever you want to call it, it does not, uh, it's not affected by speed debuff. Gotcha, okay. So usually it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. But it does, running in Molga is going to punish any CADC or hover cancels that mm -hmm. uh, Scissor is going to do. Exactly. All right, so go, I'm looking for the Eevee again. I, all right. Tower House is charging in there. Oh, and just going straight nice. in. A lot of damage coming out here. I love that move. I love that cancel. Mm -hmm. So you're just really setting up. It really sets you up for the long game, too, of like, uh, trying to set that up. Nice oh, perfect, perfect block. block. Okay. All right. Ooh, nice. okay, nice. Tower nice. House is really having a hard time getting any confirms right now. And TC, can you do it here? Nope. All right, yeah, PSB not working out. See, that's something with Scizor that I have noticed as well. Scizor has a... Nope, not okay, no button. Scizor has one of, one of those characters that has a hard time finishing his plate. Mm -hmm. Like, once he gets down his opponent into rage, mm -hmm. he doesn't have a lot of options to really, like, finish mm -hmm. off a round. Right. I agree with the, the burst of call right there. Mm -hmm. Like, because at this point, he has nothing really to lose. I like all this zoning here coming out from TEC. He's mm -hmm. just wanting a stray hit, and he Abs gets it there. Yeah, absolutely no commitment, because... Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. If you're against the race machine, you are in death zone. You can right, die pretty right. quickly in two in like two um, interactions. What I wanted, what I would like to see out of Har is just random cross drop. <laughs> it probably would work. It would have worked. It would have worked in that situation. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. but it because uh, Sizzler's moves, a lot of his moves are either on the ground, mm -hmm. like with staples, mm -hmm. or if he actually goes and throws the swords, those go around and out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if he just went straight in for the cross chop, it would have taken as long mm -hmm. as that. Mm-hmm. All right, so all right, we're good now. Okay, so. Uh, I think what you're talking about the cross shop earlier is that I think it's good because I think TC's getting a little bit comfortable in his zoning right here. Doesn't really feel contested right now. Mm -hmm. You see he's loosening up, especially in his field movement here. Mm -hmm. So Scissor is definitely one of those characters that needs a little bit of warming up. Mm -hmm. uh, and Haro Hazard is just charging right in there, trying to get in. Doesn't go for the confirm. Goes for the cancel instead. Oh my god, okay. Nice 2Y there not, for TEC. Not respecting that at all, going under his highs. Ooh, okay, he's using Bull Punch to try and beat out Frogadier right there. Oh, go tries for the grab. Oh, well, not technically confirmed, but Haru Hazu. Uh. Alright, so. Oh, oh my god. Submission. That's what he needed to kind of turn mm -hmm. this around. Alright, and put him now up against the wall. Okay. Um, TC's not going to have a lot of room to move right now. Nice, Ooh, nice. This is in the corner. Oh, oh god. Is that it? No, it's uh, 210. It. 210 max, isn't it? Oh, oh my god. Okay. 
All right. All right. <laughs> Snagging that. Was... All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Nebraska Poke. And welcome, here to was... <laughs> welcome to Nebraska Poke, everyone. <laughs> it was a crit of a 212. Man, I thought he was living. I thought I did 210 max. I guess I was wrong about that. All right. Got to make sure that uh, Hara Hazard doesn't have cheeker points on. Ooh. <laughs> All right, nice there turn. we go. See, that's the thing about Scizor. If I'm correct, you can do it against every character. Like in a homing string, you can U-turn pretty much beat it. In a lot of characters, yes. So there, are, I don't, I can't remember any specific uses mm -hmm. right now, but it's it's just a really powerful tool that really sets up like Scizor's defensive field field phase. You can't just recklessly homing in on him. Right. So he spends the uh, spends the swords, and Harahaz are not respecting it. Mm -hmm. All right. I like how he's doing the bug bite cancels to mm -hmm. keep his movement going. I see right here, the TEC is happy to zone. So there's mm -hmm. no reason for him to go in. He has a huge health lead. He mm -hmm. has burst if he ever wanted it. Mm -hmm. He is down around, but this round is looking good for yeah, him. He is forcing Harahazu to be Ooh, the aggressor right now. That would have worked. Oh, well, Harahazu is getting so nice. reckless right now. And, okay, TEC is not having any of that yeah, mix up. TEC really showing the matchup knowledge and saying that knowing that he can go under that 5Y mm -hmm. with his 2Y. And 2Y being such a good combo confirm. Especially when you have swords up, it's really, really powerful. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna be able to go through this? Oh, okay. Nope. So he's going through the side. All right. Now, is definitely going much more aggressive right now. Tries for the air grab. I like it, but uh, T TC able to get out of it. All right. All right. And oh, this is unfortunate. So Har or TC has been trying to set up that grab for a while there, but mm -hmm. not gonna be able to get it. Pushes a uh, Machamp against the wall. Ooh, techniques takes a moment to get that swords back up and getting a grab. Alright, Haruhazu really, when he gets back into dual face, he really needs to think about popping that burst right now. Ooh, actually, Machamp popping over it. Ooh, okay. Alright, Eevee confirmed. Yep. Oh my god, yep. the spacing. Is he going to be able to finish this off? Oh! There yo, there we go! TEC taking his first game in an offline tournament. Let's go. Alright, TEC showing what he is, uh, showing his stuff right there. Mm -hmm. I love the spacing he did with that last bull punch, mm -hmm. um, where he just knew the. Um, 4XY is just going to come right in that sector and just get him for that. Right. It's a great job there by TEC. Of course, great job to Haruhazu as well. See, Haruhazu not respecting some of Scizor's options and really trying to be really aggressive. Sometimes mm -hmm. it did work out for him, but TEC mm -hmm. had a lot of the answers for some pretty mm -hmm. really, uh, common setups from the champ. Exactly. He had... He, he, I can just tell, like, I, I, every time there's like, an interaction, he had an option out of it. I can mm -hmm. tell he, he knew that. He knew what the finest options were. Right. So...